Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Christmas readings, January 7th, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. The familiar story of the wedding at Cana presents what would be a crucial moment during the feast. The wine has run out. Without wine, how can the feast continue? Among the few words the evangelists share, Mary says, they have no wine. She sees and understands that the feasting would end without it. Jesus says in so many words to Mary, what has your concern got to do with me? It's not time yet for me to go out into the world. It is telling to see that Mary does not reply to Jesus' question. She says instead to the servers, leaving the Son of God to act on his own will, do whatever he tells you. Two elements of Mary's nature begin at this moment to shine. Her selfless intercession, they have no wine, and her perfect trust in God's will, do whatever he tells you. Wine, which becomes the blood of Christ at the Last Supper, here initiates the feast and the coming of Emmanuel. The passing earthly banquet foreshadows the joy of God made man who comes to draw all into the great feast of endless length of days. God, help me understand the beauty in this gospel passage and allow its beauty to draw me toward Mary as a model of faith and to adopt her selflessness and abandonment to your will. Why does Jesus question Mary's concern? The mother of God becomes the queen of heaven, the ever-present intercessor of every spiritual need who entrusts the prayers of the human family directly to her son. Is Jesus asking her that question not out of a kind of irony but only to allow her to give witness to her faith and her response? Do whatever he tells you. In your presence, Lord, my eyes see only so much. There is infinitely more. Give me the grace today to see your love manifested in the days unfolding. Be with me as I come to knowledge of your will through the material gifts that surround me. You supply me with every spiritual need. Strengthen me to do whatever you tell me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.